All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6. I hope everyone is doing great today. I know that I am. We're getting right back into our play here, our gameplay here, and um, not really too much to update you guys on. I did a little bit of off-camera work, but nothing too crazy, just a little bit of tinkering here or there, collecting of resources, laying out of roads. So I'll really quickly show you what we got going on. Um, I don't believe I showed this on camera. We did get a solar panel up and going uh, from the power mod. I hope you guys did enjoy the last episode uh, where we dove into the power mod. Um, but yeah, we got a solar panel up and going. It's pretty straightforward on how to make it. Capacitors, dielectric casings, uh, photoelectric panes, like pretty straightforward. You just need normal um, glass panes here in the middle so to get these and then you need three of them to make up your base tier these are pretty good they do generate 220 fe per tick or rf per tick just power per tick i guess you could really say um i don't know if they've standardized across the board i don't think they have i think thermal series still uses rf and then power uses fe and then i think there's maybe jewels as well if i'm not mistaken <laughs> yeah it's all over the place i wish it was just standardized it it all is the same, usually the same basic generation principles behind it. Um, like, so they're pretty much universal. The naming is just all different. That's the only thing. So yeah, we did get that up and going there. Um, I did make up some more, um, what, electrified steel? Is that what it is? Got what it was called already. Energized steel. I was close, very close. Um, I did make some more of that up. You can do blocks of it, so keep that in mind. You can do a block of gold and a block of iron and it'll get you 18 at least that's what it gave me um and then we did get a upgraded energy cell this holds 4 million fe a little bit higher than the base tier uh which only holds a million so pretty much uh what quadrupled four yeah quadrupled it um and then getting higher and higher would be even better but in order to get into this stuff we need blaze crystals which we need blazes for we need blaze powder or blaze rods for so we're not going to worry too much on it for the time being. We have a decent way of getting power for the moment. Um, but what I would really like to do, we get a little bit of lag there. Well, first we need to sleep through the night. That's first things first. Now the pack did up, uh, update. We did update it for this episode. Um, so I couldn't tell you, I couldn't tell you what version we're on right now. Actually, I could probably look really quick. I think I still have this open. Um, oh, snap. Where is it at? Right here. Okay. We are on version six dot or six, yeah, Enigmatica six. My bad. Z version zero dot five dot fourteen, I believe, is what we are on. Um, so some stuff has changed. A lot of stuff that has changed is around the bees, um, which I'm actually pleasantly happy about because now we can actually take a look at one of the bees that I really always I really wanted to have even in our first season, uh, which is a steel bee. I really wanted to get one of these up and going, and you can actually do it relatively easy. And now it kind of walks you through how you can do it. Um, so pretty much what you have to do is you take a iron bee um, and you give it a block of coal. Now, um, there has to be a valid hive for the bee to go into to get do what it's got to do. Where is my sword? Do I not have my sword on me? There it is. There we go. I don't even know if I killed him or if he just died normally. Um, anywho, so what was I saying with the bees here? So yeah, basically you take an iron bee and you let it uh, pollinate a block of coal and then you can get a steel bee spawn egg. This has probably been in here maybe for a little bit and I've just not really realized it or maybe it's shifted, but it's made a little bit clearer, clearer now um, because as you can see with the steel bee, there's a little bit more information around it. Um, and this is how it's going to be for all of the tier three bees. So within the heart of many metal blocks lies an alloy bee egg. The proper bee can mutate the block, releasing it. So that's pretty cool because these don't spawn in the world. So we're going to have to try that out, guys, because I think it could be extremely useful for us. Um, what happened to my... Oh, I left it. I'm like, where is our pickaxe? I thought I had it and we do have it. I was just fixing it i was a little bit worried there that we might have lost it but let's uh, deposit any of the stuff we don't need right now our storage system is definitely coming along we're getting a lot more put away in here um but today i want to focus on something different i do want to get into the bees i want to do that um there's a lot of other things oh i guess i should show you guys the other stuff that i did do off camera which was nothing crazy here i just connected our pathways here 
Um, and then we have a, now a pathway coming this way, more pathways over here, and then we can come down here and go over this way, over a nice little bridge. There's a little bit of water below us, which I might expand that direction a little bit more. I think that'd be really nice. All the way over to our nether portal here. So figured it would be uh, nice to get a little pathway going. Um, and it was nothing that we really warranted to be shown on video. Well, during the process. After the process, it's pretty nice to have, right? So, all right. Anywho, what I want to do today is actually get into some more machinery. Uh, because we're getting a good amount of resources and we're starting to get to the point where we're consuming a lot of our refined resources. So think iron, um, gold, things like that. That really makes sense to process it through a well, a line of processes, right? To get the most bang for your buck. Now, realistically, mechanism is the best way to do it. We've done it before and I do plan to get there. But for the time being, I feel like thermal series is going to be a good way to go. Um, because if we don't do thermal series to get us rolling for a little bit here, we'll probably never use it. That's one of the hard things is when you have conflicting mods that do the same exact thing, is that usually um, you're going to tend towards just one of them and not really check out any of the others. So now immersive engineering was really fun, but we did a lot of that in season one. So that's why I'm straying away from it this time around. Um, industrial foregoing, I do want to get into that as well. I think that would be pretty cool, but that's more so for it's really like it can be used for a lot of the base stuff but it's got its niches so that's why i'm thinking starting with thermal series is gonna be our best bet so let's just get into it right off the bat so thermal series if you want to pause the video at any point to read any of this information feel free to do so um i am not going to spend too much time on each of the items though but that's just an easy manual click reward collection. We are going to get the wrench out of that, which is really nice. I should also mention, let's pull up our backpack here. Um, I'm going to put our torches here. I'll keep this on us. We don't have any arrows on us currently, so I'm going to put that actually into our backpack along with that and that. That should be fine. We do need to keep this time on a bottle on us so that it keeps collecting or racking up that... Um, time obviously uh but there is a book for thermal series if we go into our asha ticket home um right here at the bottom thermal series it's all in alphabetical order so if you guys are wondering how that's uh it's easy to follow along with that it's all alphabetical order this is going to be super helpful if you do want a little bit more in-depth information uh, but for us we're just going to follow along um the main quest line so there's two paths to go. You can head left or you can head right to begin with. There's also these one-off ones, which we'll get to in a little bit, and one-off ones down here as well. Now, I think for us, we're already generating some power. Now, generating more power would be really nice. Oh, I am planning to go to the left as well, but I think starting going to the right is going to make the most sense for the time being. So we're going to want to get a redstone furnace up and going. Now, this should be pretty straightforward. We are just going to need some resources. The other thing I would love to do is get refined storage going up at some point, but we don't need to focus on it just yet. All right, we're going to need some Cooper. It will be actually really nice once we can get refined storage up and going. I think, I wonder if there's an easy way that we could do storage right now, because there is the pipes mod. If we go to storage here, um, where is pipes? Down here. Pretty pipes, which would be pretty cool. And I, it, it might work. We could try it out. Again, guys, if you want to pause on any of that, feel free to do so. Um, pretty pipes. All we need is tin and that. Doesn't sound too bad. It'd just be nice if we could tap right into this and be able to craft right off of it. So I don't know if we need these specifically, but we'll get the pipes anyway. And that'll complete that. So we'll grab whatever rewards we get from that. Um, then we need an item terminal and a crafting terminal. So we'll get that on the list here. Uh, back out of that. And we'll also put the crafting terminal, which means we're going to need one of those bad boys, which is pretty straightforward. Um, all of this is pretty straightforward crafting. So let me do some of this. I want to get it up and going so then we can jump into um, thermal. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, a change of plans. I did want to actually get the uh, pretty pipe st uh, storage system up and going to see if that would work. Um, but it does take invar, and we're not to a point where we can make invar. Um, in season one, we were at that point when we did pretty pipes because we had the 
alloy kiln from immersive engineering up and going and we don't have that in our gameplay just yet so that's why i'm thinking that we'll go down thermal for the time being and if we can get to it at the end of this episode then that would be great uh, because you can use utilize thermal machines to make invar so we're going to get our redstone furnace first and foremost again guys if you're curious on any of this crafting stuff it shows it within you know the game within jei you can see a lot of the information anyway uh, i'm just trying to skip ahead a few uh, uh, around a few of the things here so um redstone burn is pretty straightforward to get we are going to need a lot more now to get into this so grab some of that we'll grab some of that we'll grab some of those and those um we might need some glass here and honestly i'm gonna grab some of the sand because we really should probably smelt up some more of this sand we did get some wither glass it's actually pretty nice it is a um glass that's immune to like explosions and stuff like that so we're gonna take that out of here i don't think i had anything backlogged and i do have some stone here it is getting to nighttime. will it let us sleep it will let us sleep there we go <clears throat> do have a little bit of a drink with me today Always got to stay hydrated. What you whistle as you go through and you're talking uh, through an episode here. So, all right, get that put away just like so. And then let's see, what can we get from our pulverizer going? So we're going to need that. I'm going to need more Cooper. I'll just get a decent amount of it here because we are going to need it. And then there we go. We got both of those. We're going to get one of these, but I'd like to use the gold because we have a little bit more gold on hand um, than... What we have with our cooper right now we do need more tin one two three four um and then what else are we gonna need i was just thinking about it um we do need flint do i have any flint in here i don't think i have any flint stored up and we're also gonna have to get a piston going so but let's get our tin gear just like so, and then we'll get our machine frame going. Bada bing, bada boom, not too bad. And we do need a piston, so we are going to need some stone and then some planks. So, some of that, and then what, like three three um planks, and I have planks right there. There we go, that should get us our piston. Awesome, and then all we need is some flint, which I think I have. If I don't have any flint, I would actually be relatively surprised. There we go. I knew I had to have some flint somewhere, so perfect. So this should be everything that we need. We should be able to get up and going. Not a piston, a pulverizer. Now this is pretty straightforward as to what a pulverizer is going to be doing, guys, right? Again, if you want to stop and read any of that here, I'll even pop it back up for you guys. Feel free to read through any of that um, wording. What is next on the list? Just out of curiosity here, we do need to make invar. So it's actually part of this quest line anyway, is to make invar dust. Now to make invar dust, uh, it's pretty straightforward how you can do it. Just iron dust and nickel dust. And you can get that from utilizing these uh, two machines that we currently have right here. Now I do want to get some more, which I don't think I, I might've put it away, which I'm actually going to put our book away for the time being, because I don't think we need it currently. I thought I had more cabling. Do I not? There we do. Uh, don't know if this is going to be enough. We'll probably have to make some more here. Because I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll put these machines right next to each other right here. So we're going to take this out. And actually, you know what? Put this hammer away as well. But we're going to put these right here, right next to each other. Oh, and look, I was actually smart enough where I filled in those two, those two spots right there as well. So I'm going to put the pulverizer first and then the uh, furnace after it. And we're going to come back down here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough. To get, we're definitely not going to have enough to get over here. Uh, but we could at least get the ball rolling here. Just like so. This is... Oh, we don't have our map anymore. I hate when it does this. It does update sometimes and it turns off our map. I like using this map over anything else. That's just my preference. But, you know, just uh, use as use whatever you wish to use. So... I really do like this one. It looks really nice. So the north way, we do want it to be... Where's north? North is going to be extract only. Um, and we do need to make some more of these energy cables. So let's get that rolling real quick here and get this all set up. All right, guys, we are good to go here. We got all of the cabling that we should need. Uh, I'm just going to run it. 
just like so. That should be perfectly fine for what we need. And then these guys should be getting some power. Yep, looks like they are. So I believe you can also configure the power um, input on these if you really wanted to. Um, they definitely have the, uh, at least you have input output. Maybe actually you don't configure the power, but that should be good to go. So these are going to be really nice. So for the pulverizer for the time being, I'm going to have everything turned off on it. But eventually what we'll want to do is have this be a input or input into our redstone furnace over here. But I don't want to have that right now. Now I will have on the top this because I believe we could use, we could grab a hopper and then we could kind of backlog a few things. Um, I think that fell all the way down into there. It did. We can backlog a few items that we would like to flow into it. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can use a chest. We all, we want to enable it. Mm, I mean, I guess we could try. I don't think I have enough wood on me to make a chest, do I? Um, this is how our, our, um, setup's doing for this right now i have already used quite a bit of the resources that we've been getting from it so just keep that in mind that's not everything i had to use it to make some of our paths but let's get a chest going here i'm gonna do a normal chest um i don't know if this is gonna work we're gonna see real quick though right so let's go into our backpack we're gonna grab our iron because we're gonna throw that in there and it looks like it did take it out okay so this will work i'm i'm never sure on this stuff guys right because it does change from time to time and different packs allow for different things so just something to keep in mind but there we go that's gonna do it and then basically all this is going to do is it's going to grind this up it's gonna take a hot minute for it to process it through because we need to get some better augmentations on it um, but it's going to utilize a little bit of our power um i don't know if, what if if it shows us exactly how much it's using i think you can go into jei here and go to your pulverizer and it will show you that does it really take four thousand rf really i feel like that's not accurate there's no way that that could be accurate there's no way if it's doing that then this thing would just be draining consistently draining um which it's not obviously so but uh, that should be good now obviously makes sense what that does the redstone furnace pretty pretty straightforward as well right like you know that the stuff's gonna go into there and then smelt up and then output out so um but basically all we got to do now is wait for this to go through and we should be able to actually get an output of nickel if i'm not mistaken from this pulverizer yeah there's a 10 percent chance of getting nickel from it so definitely uh something to keep in mind is there double inputs no it's i don't know what that is down there but um that will open up that path over there now, the other thing we could do is get a sterling dynamo so we could continue on this path down this way. Um, and I really would like that because there's some really easy power generation that I would like to get out of thermal series. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to jump over then to getting a um, sterling dynamo up and going. And then I think we just need like any kind of coal to go with it is pretty much all we got to do. Um, and we can let this run now. Oh, there we go. Uh, we could have it output over to here, but we don't want to do that just yet. So, alrighty. So, let's get this Sterling Dynamo up and going, guys. I'm going to drop off a bunch of stuff right now so we can just kind of free up some of our inventory space. Um, it didn't really help us that much, I'm not going to lie. We still have quite a bit of junk on us, but we can store some stuff away that we don't need right into our backpack. And let's get a rolling on this. So heading over to here, we want a Sterling Dynamo. This should be pretty straightforward. We're just going to need a good amount of this. We're going to need some of these, um, maybe some gold. And then I don't remember, was it normal stone? Is that what we need? Any kind of stone. So we'll grab a few of those and we should have pretty much everything. So let's get our iron gear. Let's get our flux coil. And then, bada bing, bada boom, there is our dynamo. Now, it does want us to have some coal. So, what we'll do is we'll grab a decent amount of coal here, just like so. And then, we can hook this into our system. If we really want to, I might just plop it down there just so we have it there. Uh, even if we don't throw it, uh, if, we, if we don't get it up and going, that's perfectly fine. So, because it's pretty much going to be the same as this furinator, right? It's just from a different mod. Um, and I'd much rather just use this. This is perfectly fine to utilize to get some power generation going. 
All right, so that completed that quest there. So we're going to get some basic energy cables, an energy cell from Powell, which is actually pretty funny, and then a Farmer's Delight. Now, that cell, we're actually going to utilize this because as you progress through this, um, you do need to use the tier before it in order to, um, to kind of upgrade it. And if you upgrade the tier that you already have power stored in, you'll lose all the power you already stored. So what I recommend doing is actually kind of dual upgrades. So have um you know a lower tier and a higher tier and then upgrade the tier that doesn't have any power in it and then transfer the power from your current one into the newly upgraded one if that makes any sense at all so especially if you are upgrading you can make it without upgrading them but that's just my recommendation so i believe we could throw this on here but i'm not going to basic universal cables are super nice universal cables are really really nice to use but i do believe that you steal um and that's unfortunately why we could not use them for our setup currently so i'm gonna grab some of this stuff out of here um, and maybe plop some things over into this location and then try to just stick a lot of our machine stuff over here should be good i'm gonna put that away um and we'll put that in there put that in there um do we have any open spots we don't but we could get rid of that i'm gonna put um yeah i guess i'll put the iron nuggets there and we'll put that there perfect okay let's sleep real quick i'm gonna take a sip as we sleep all right and actually what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch this out i do want to try this wakame gunkin sounds pretty far i'm actually pretty hungry i feel like when i always record i'm hungry i'm like i want some food man this does not have good yeah this is good for saturation but not good for like actual hunger overall um, all right, so anyway, what's next on our, our list? The Aberreal Extractor. That's really our next thing here. Redstone Servo, Iron Gear, Bucket, so on and so forth. Pretty straightforward. Let's see how we're doing. We're getting there, so we're going to actually grab a good amount of this stuff. And I'm going to grab that. I'm going to actually throw this in here so this starts cooking it up. And then we're going to make some Invar Dust, which is going to complete our thermal one. So back over to here, we are going to complete this. Again, guys, if you want to pause, feel free to. We're going to grab whatever we got from that. Did get some machine frames. It's always nice to get some machine frames, guys. Like, so nice to have those because it's one less thing that you have to worry about putting resources into. We're going to put that there. Um, and unfortunately, I don't really have any other places to put things. I, I guess I'll grab that because we don't have a helmet on currently. We've been flying through our armor like crazy. How are we doing on time, too? Wow, we are really getting up there. I've been losing track of time in this playthrough uh, quite a bit, guys. So we completed that, and now we can actually move on to an induction smelter, which would be super nice to have so that we could just make alloys whenever we wanted to. Um, now, unfortunately for this, it does look like we need to have, again, Invar gears, so we're going to have to make quite a bit more Invar, um, which we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting um, that up and going here. So I'm going to throw that over there. And then we could take this iron dust and just like so. That's going to give us six. It's not, not quite enough. Now, we do have nickel. It's not the only way that you can get nickel is from that process. You can get nickel via um, just the world itself, the world gen, right? So we'll throw this in here, though, to let it smelt up. And we're going to jump back in here and uh, try to get this extractor up and going. So we should have everything we need. I am going to want two of them, I believe. Uh, and there's a bunch of iron that we have over here. So I'm just going to grab this. And I stuck away our nuggies. We probably shouldn't have done that because we're going to need those uh, nuggies right there. Cool. All right. Well, we can work right here on getting this up and going. So we're actually going to need quite a bit of stuff. So we're going to need planks. We're going to need glass. We're going to need two buckets. So let's get another bucket going here. The two buckets and you guys will see why i want to have two of these going here in just a minute we're going to need some more redstone um and then what else do we need here well we could take that off of there because we don't need it we don't need a pulverizer on there um and then an iron gear uh oop, two of them okay so two um of redstone and then maybe four of those i think that would be it and then we need planks Yeah, just trying to count in my mind. And that should be all for that one. And then all we're missing is one of these. And we should have everything to get a second one up and going. 
And again, guys, you'll see in just a minute why. Now you can read through this again, guys. I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but feel free to pause the video. All right, cool beans. So we got what we needed and we have the Arboreal Extractors, which all we got to do now is I'm going to nix this off of here. Oh, didn't mean to throw it. Come back. All we're going to do now is we're going to grab a little bit of bone meal, just like so. Bone blocks are awesome to have, guys. You get so much bone meal from them. And then we want to get this set up. We just need a nice little area that we can grow a nice little tree or two nice little trees in, which I don't know if we necessarily have like the space currently. I guess right here, we don't really have anything going on right here. So we could easily grow like a tree or two right in this general vicinity. Um, okay, so we'll plant that down. Will you grow a nice little tree? Yeah, it looks kind of funky, guys. Don't get me wrong, because we're not used to having these kinds of trees um, around here. But it'll totally be worth it. I'm just hopeful that, yep, that one grew as well. <laughs> it looks really, really weird. But this is the reason we want to do it. We want to take it, and then we want to put these here next to it. Um, and I believe that they should be good to go. All we got to do now is add maybe some bone meal to that one some bone meal to that one and they should take off on their own if i'm not mistaken um yep there we go so from these from the acai tree the acacia tree <laughs> you'll get latex i i make such lame jokes we'll get latex from that without really having to do anything the bone meal helps bump up the overall production speed now from the extractor over here ooh, from this extractor we're getting latex as well which is not what i wanted to have from it I'm trying to remember. I think spruce. I think a spruce tree was what I used before. So we might have to figure this out really quickly here. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Do we have a spruce? We have jungle sapling, which I already had. Um, is this... I don't know. <sighs> okay. Hang on a second, guys. If you go into use cases for the extractor here, it'll tell you what works. So maple, redwood. Okay. Let me take a look here. All right, guys, so I got everything up and going here. Um, so I went ahead. I got both of these tree. Well, I got this tree put down. I tore down the jungle tree because I realized that, um, yeah, it's going to produce latex as well. Again, if you want to know, look in JEI under this uh, Aboreal extractor. It'll tell you what does what. So I ended up using these two over here, and then I had to create a whole new one for over here. Um, and you can see the difference here. So this one's going to be like a yellowish color and these ones are white, white meaning latex, this one meaning meaning resin, <clears throat> which resin is another thing that we need. So we have it up and going. There is our bucket of it and that's going to complete two quests for us actually. So we got the latex bucket, get a rare thermal series loot there. The resin bucket, we're going to get some sweet berries and another rare box. And then we also got the cured rubber. This was actually a reward from one of the other ones. So um, just something there to keep in mind. Now going down this path, you can get a flux cell up and going or a fluid cell, which is pretty nice. Uh, but the fractioning still is really the direction that you're going to want to go. Um, because if you make some tree oil, right, tree oil, uh, which you can make in the fractioning still via resin, the tree oil can be utilized in a compression dynamo. One bucket equals a million RF, which is a lot of power to be able to uh, to utilize. And we actually did get a upgrade here. We got, we got some really good stuff here. Um, so I would like to do that. Can we take one of these? Can we take these upgrades and just throw them in here for the time being? Um, these are pretty nice. Uh, it does look like we are... No, we're not um, <clears throat> losing out on power here. When you add those in, it does increase the overall capacity. So that's what we were running into right there. So I think what we will do, though, is we are going to change this to auto output to the side um, and, and get that going here. So what we can do is just throw this in here. Uh, and then it's going to go through... See, it's a much quicker. And then that should output from the side if we do inputs from over there. Auto input enabled. Um, and then we'll also want an auto output as well, which we'll probably want another chest for. Um, which, see, can we make... Uh, we can make some jungle chests, which is not really my ultimate goal here. Let's just turn this into some wood planks and then get as many... Uh, it's jungle chests again, and there's not an option for us to switch off of that. That's a little bit uh, disappointing there. 
Um, and then same with this. There's no option. We just get spruce ones. So I guess it is what it is. We'll leave it. That's going to suck. <laughs> but luckily, this whole area is claimed. We are... Um, so we're perfectly fine. It's not going to destroy anything for us. So... All right, our inventory is wrecked right now. And does it make sense for us to do anything additional this episode, considering at the what time we are sitting at? Might not make the most sense because we are pretty much right up against the edge of it. Yeah, we're, we're at 30 minutes. So I don't think, unfortunately, we're going to be able to get anything additional put in today. Uh, but I think we did get a lot done here. So we have our resin going. We have our latex going. Latex will be very good for rubber and things like that down the line, especially if we get into... Um, I think like mechanism uses a lot of rubber if i'm not mistaken um or some other things use a lot of rubber as well so anywho so we're gonna wrap it up there guys i hope you enjoyed i think i'm gonna record another episode right after this one and jump into that additional power production i think it'd be really fun to get into i'm already this far so let's just keep going with it just didn't have enough time for this one so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that if you did enjoy this episode feel free to leave a like down below ready yet leave a comment I'd uh, love to hear what you guys are saying on the series. The seed uh, for this uh, world can also be found in the description down below. I know a lot of you have been asking about that. Uh, if you are new here and you do want to follow along, highly recommend hitting that subscribe button and bell notification because it'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. Um, we do stream over on Twitch. Link for that in the description down below, along with our link to the community Discord if you feel like hopping on over there as well. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out as we dove into a little bit of automation around our ores and our resources. I do appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.